Hi folks, I hope that you guys are doing pretty well. Uh, so today is Tuesday, the 17th of September 2024. And in today's video, um, I'm going to be doing my mystery number seven, okay? Uh, now, I'm actually uh, competing with Jonathan Khan, you know, <laughs> uh, although he doesn't know it. But, um, you know, Jonathan Khan is an amazing uh, pastor and rabbi. And he's the author of several books, okay? Uh, and, you know, he's actually an amazing um, biblical Bible scholar, having written all these books, if you like. And uh, the latest book in his collection is The Dragon's Prophecy, which I just bought on Amazon, if you like. And um, I'm going to be getting it tomorrow in the mail, so I'm looking forward to reading his latest book. So, yeah, Jonathan Khan is a... Uh, you know, it's an excellent um, Bible scholar having written all these series of books, you know, amazing books, if you like, you know, biblical decipherings, you know. And so I want to compete with Jonathan Khan myself, okay? <laughs> now, um, in my channel then, uh, in my videos, if you like, um, I have already started competing with Jonathan Khan, okay? And I have six videos. Uh, in my series, okay, and uh, I'll point them out to you, okay. So uh, the first mystery video that I did was actually this one, the eighth day mystery and miracle of the covenant. That was my first video that I did, um, and then I did from Lord Jesus to Melchizedek, King of Salem. That was my second one. The third one was the cleansing power or the number seven in the age of the law. Uh, my fourth one was Jasper is God's favorite color according to biblical evidence. My number five was the 24 elders, the evidence. And uh, my number six uh, was the 70 lost elders of Israel, the broken links. Okay. And so today I'm going to be, let me put my iPad aside. I'm going to be talking about my seventh mystery, if you like. Okay. Uh, and so let me show you the problem here. Uh, the, the, and the video is about the number 49, okay? The mystery of the sequel, okay? So the number 49 uh, has a multiplying effect, okay? Um, think of the 490 years that we read, you know, in Daniel 9.24. Okay, we'll go through these processes in a moment, but... Yeah, so I guess I'm competing with Jonathan Carneo. This is my mystery number seven, and I'm working on others, if you like. And so if you multiply seven, seven by seven is 49, okay? And then if you multiply 70 times seven, you get the four ninety years, you know? Uh, of course, you know, if you read Daniel 9.24 and you link it together, you know? So the power of the number 49 uh, and its multiplying effect, in other words, the X here is referring to the multiplying effects. Is actually linked or all linked to the prophecies starting in Deuteronomy uh, chapter 16, verse 9. Okay, and then it links to Daniel 9 24, and then it links to Revelation chapter 14, verse 16, and then Joel chapter 3, verse 2. It's all linked together, folks, you know, uh, especially if you consider, uh, you know, the link in Revelation 14, uh, verse 15. Verse 15, you know, in other words, bring out the sequel, you know. And so, this is why I'm doing this video, you know, regarding the mystery of the sequel, in other words, the number 49, with its multiplying effect, you know, getting us to the mystery of the sequel in the end times, you know, when uh, I have Revelation 14, uh, you know, verse 15 tells, tells us about, you know, the sequel, and then here Jesus in Joel chapter 2. Uh, sorry, chapter 3, verse 2, uh, it's going to, to bring all the nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat, thus, you know, bringing out the sequel, so to speak, okay? So anyway, folks, let's start with uh, Deuteronomy, chapter 16, okay, uh, verse 9. But before we get to verse 9, just as an introductory thing, if you like, and you can read this for yourselves, uh, so that you get the picture, if you know what I mean. Restore the month of Abib and give the Passover unto the Lord thy God, okay? For in the month of Abib the Lord thy God brought thee forth 
out of each of by night. Okay. And then verse 4 it reads, And there shall be no leaven bread seen with thee in all thy coasts, seven dice, and so on. Okay. And then when we get to verse 8, six dice, thou shalt eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day shall be a solemn assembly to the Lord thy God. Thou shalt do no works therein. Okay. So you get the, the idea if you read uh, chapter 16 here or where all this is leading to. Okay. But. However, when we get to verse 9, this is where it gets interesting. And this is where uh, verse 9 is linked to all these prophecies here, you know, in Daniel 9, 24, Revelation chapter 14, verse 15, and, and then Joel 3, 2 regarding the sequel, okay? Now, it says here, seven weeks shall thou number unto thee, okay? So that's interesting. Seven weeks shall thou number unto thee. Begin to number the seven weeks from such a time as thou beginnest to pull the sickle to the corn. Okay, so, uh, you know, if you multiply seven by seven, you get 49. Okay, and then it says here, thou beginnest to put the sickle to the corn, in other words, to the harvest. Okay, so notice, folks, you know, the power of seven have leads to 49 and then for uh, 490 years. See how it's all linked, you know. 7 by 7 is 49, you know, 70 times 7 is, you know, we get the 490 years if you link it to Daniel 9.24, okay? So, uh, just keep that keep that in mind, the sequel here in verse 9, okay? And remember the power of 7 and then how it leads to 490 years, as for Daniel 9.24, okay? So, keep that in mind and then let's go to uh, Daniel uh, 9.24. I've got patch markers here, so bear with me. Uh, for a sec, folks. So head over to the book of Daniel, okay? In chapter 9, which in my Bible begins down here. But if you go to Daniel 9.24, it says, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish their transgression and to make an end of sins. In other words, the sequel, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness and to seal up the vision and prophecy and to anoint the most holy, which is Jesus, okay? So do you see how it's all getting to be in LinkedIn as it begins in Deuteronomy, and then you go over to Daniel 9.24, you know, 490 years, you know, to finish the tran transgression, okay? And then if you go over to Revelation 14, uh, verse 15, it's a classic one. It, tie, it ties it all in, if you like, you know? So let us go to Revelation uh, 14. Okay, so head over to the book of Revelation, uh, chapter 14, and then if we go here to verse 15, look what, look what it says. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle, remember Deuteronomy, and reap, for the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. Exactly, folks, because... Then if you link it to Chol 3, 2, okay, I got a patch marker. Then we may for one sec, folks. So if you go to uh, Chol, okay, book of Chol, uh, and you go to chapter 3, okay, Chol chapter 3, 2, and I will also gather all nations, and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will sickle them, if you like, you know, is saying Jesus, and I will be with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So, in other words, Jesus is gonna uh, bring all the nations into the valley of Jehoshaphat. He's going to get the sequel out, as for you know, Revelation uh, chapter 14, verse 15, and he's going to make the judgment of the sheep and the goats, and Jesus. Uh, will allow certain nations to make it into the millennial kingdom if they had treated Israel good, okay? So just to finish up then, do you see how, uh, you know, the number 49, the mystery of the sequel, you know, and the multiplying effect, you know, 7 times 7 equals 49, 70 times 7 equals 490, you know, years if you like, if you tie to Daniel, 924 to finish up with the transgression, okay, and to anoint the most holy Jesus, okay. 
And if you think about it, you know, the power of number 49 and its multiplying effect, you know, reflected by this X here, which I put a red square on it, you know, all linked, you know, the link begins in Deuteronomy, okay, chapter 16, verse 9. Then you dive into Daniel 9, 24, then Revelation 14, 15, and then Joel 3, 2, the final sequel, you know, <laughs> the final sequel, you know. Uh, so it's all interesting, folks. Let me finish up here and take it to Deuteronomy, okay? Here in Deuteronomy 16, uh, verse 9, it begins all of these, you know, all these links, you know, with the sequel, sequel of the horn, that was the sequel of the harvest, you know, seven weeks. You know, seven weeks, you know, seven times seven equals 49. Then we get to Daniel's 924, 490 years. And then if you think about it, that leads us into Revelation 14, verse 15, the sequel, you know, and then Chol 3, 2, Jesus does the final harvest. So it's all amazing, folks. So that's it, folks. Thank you for watching. This is my mystery number seven. I'm working on other things. And um, yeah, we'll do further videos. Uh, amen.